up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here at Sears Point Raceway in Sonoma Valley, California. And guess what? We have that performance compact sedan many of you have been waiting for. This is it. This is the all new 2022 Hyundai Elantra N. But before we get into this six speed manual compact sports sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Hyundai. They've been doing the business since the 1980s. Remember, it was all about the Excel. You could get a hatchback, you could get a sedan. Boy, oh boy, have things changed over the years, not only with their lineup and now with this end performance brand, really getting some moment momentum and gaining some speed here in the United States and worldwide. Now, the great news is it's not just about putting a emblem or a decal on the vehicle. It's about actually going through the whole vehicle from stem to stern, outside, inside, and of course, underneath the hood to provide a unique driving experience. Now, it all started here in the United States with the Veloster N. Other places around the world, they had a hot hatch called the I-30N. But with that Veloster N now doing its thing, they decided to spread the love, spread the performance into some of their other models, especially the all new redesigned Elantra. With this Elantra N, we're talking about the availability of a six speed manual, availability of an eight speed DCT, and of course, that wonderful driving connection. So let's go ahead, let's find out, did Hyundai do enough to make this a performance compact sedan standout to go up against the Honda Civic Type R? We're gonna dive in with our Elantra N and find out. So all new, sitting on this all new chassis, you're gonna find some very, very unique styling that comes from the Veloster N, but is specific to the Elantra body style. So at the front end of the business, I love what they did. Of course, you're gonna get LED daytime running lamps, LED projector head beams, and I really think what I love about the style is the flat black. Instead of pouring a bunch of gloss black, the flat satin black really gives it that nice sporty feel and is gonna age nicely over time. Now, as we work our way down, F is the letter of the day because F stands for functionality. You're gonna have these functional side air curtains, helps generate the air down the side of the vehicle. You can see the attention to detail not only in the actual venting, but also on the side. And then one thing that kind of is that differentiator color-wise for an end performance model is going to be the red trim. And I think it's so smart how Hyundai took the body and actually, instead of putting a bunch of appendages all over the place, actually dropped it down with that flat black, with the red trim all the way across. And then as we come across that large grill area, you're going to get of course, more open functional air up top, down below, all the way. And this is gonna not only help bring cool air for this intercooled turbocharged engine, but also provide that aerodynamic efficiency and downforce. Because remember, especially here at Sears Point Raceway, we want air not to go underneath the vehicle. We wanna get that downforce and get everything to the coolers. Another thing I wanna point out is that they actually direct the air through the intercooler into the radiator and also the brake cooling ducts as well. Unique design, everything coming to a point, as you'll notice up top, dropping our way down. But as we get up onto the hood, clean body lines, that nice V goes into the A pillars. One thing I would have changed that I am gonna zonk is I wish they would have blacked out the Hyundai badge. I think that that would have just add to that extra sporty feel. But of course you got the M badge, that is that performance signature from Hyundai. When you see that on a vehicle, you know you're gonna get that driving connected feeling that's gonna separate it from the rest of the pack. Now, the crazy news is with this vehicle really gunning for that Type R for 2022, there is a redesign of the Type R as well. So it's gonna be interesting. Hyundai, Honda, who's gonna do it, which way is gonna be the way to go, but we got this Elantra N to really focus on. Now, as we come around the bend, like I was pointing out, you had those vortex generators. These help clean up the air. As air hits this portion of the vehicle, cleans up the air to send it down the side. Wheel and tire setup. So what you're looking at are these 19 inch wheels. Love the intricate design with the satin black, machined aluminum and badging. Of course, we're gonna have that nice bright red color with the end logo on the calipers. And what's wonderful is that these rotors are massive. 14.2 inches in diameter, fully ventilated. And the biggest news is that they are wrapped by Michelin 
Pilot Sport 4S tires. Those are going to give you plenty of stick, plenty of grip, so that you could do the business. Of course, front wheel drive. You do have those variable dampers, all four corners, and it's not like they just put a bigger turbocharged engine. They actually tuned the chassis, all dampers, four corners, to give you that power to get to the ground. Because remember, when we're talking about a front wheel drive car, you got that enemy, that torque steer. This is gonna help get the power to the ground. And what's even better is DCT, eight-speed DCT, or still a six-speed manual. But the way the car just sits, it's absolutely kind of spot on the money to give people that look that they want. When you're comparing it to the Type R, obviously you're gonna also find similar setup. The Type R does have Brembo brakes, so that's just one separator on that. But as we continue down the side, you do have gloss black on the mirror caps, slim and trim on the turn singles, and then you'll notice that the arrow not only starts at the front, but also goes down the side of the vehicle as well, especially with the end badging and that bright red finish. I, I'm telling you, I'm so glad that they went with the flat black, almost looks like a satin over a gloss black. And then of course you have that same design that you're gonna find on Elantra Standard Edition with all those intricate details of the body lines, color matched on the door handles. Now when you go six speed manual, you're not gonna be able to get a sunroof. If you go eight speed DCT, that does come with a power sunroof. Working your way back, you do have more vortex generators to clean up that air as it's coming down the side of the vehicle. Because remember, air could disrupt how a car feels, how a car handles with those different pieces. It's gonna help keep you stable. When we come around the back, this is where you're gonna see some of the biggest things. Obviously, we have this pedestal spoiler. You can see the three pedestals there. That's gonna give us downforce. That's also gonna give us a very, very sporty style. Great work on the taillights with the full LED brake lights all the way across, the Elantra badge, the N badge, and then really the cherry on top is gonna be this guy right here. Massive rear diffuser, look at the exhaust. Large openings, nice slash cut is gonna give you all the pops, all the bangs that you want when you're driving and very intricate detail with the triangular uh, reflection on the bottom. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Elantra. All right, end. guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but yes, the Civic Type R also has a prop rod. Underneath the hood, very tasteful engine cover. Of course, we gotta have the M badging there and that word turbo because we got turbocharged power. What are we looking at? We're looking at a two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 276 horsepower, 289 pound feet of torque, made it to either a six speed manual with rev matching or of course that eight speed dct which is a wet clutch system it does have an electronic limited slip diff and if you're wondering well joe what about the what about acceleration zero to 60 if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes will probably be a right around 5.1 seconds a little bit quicker with the eight speed dct you're gonna be looking around five seconds maybe 4.9 with the right traction top speed around 155 miles per hour and then of course if you go with the eight speed dct wet clutch system you can get that additional 10 extra horsepower with the end grift the end grin shift that gives you 20 seconds of overboost which provides 286 horsepower obviously comparing this to the civic type r still comes up a little short but technology wise definitely has some really nice features but why don't we go ahead let's fire this one up and hear what it sounds like guys here we are inside the new Elantra N really loving what Hyundai is bringing to the table and definitely the M brand I know you're saying well Joe if we're comparing this to the Type R how much is this now official pricing isn't released yet but if anybody does a little bit of math get their abacus out maybe use the Google or the interwebs 
you know the price is going to be close to the Veloster N. So right now the Veloster N has an MSRP of around $33,000. We'll have to wait to see what official pricing is. But until that day, let's get to the door panels and see what you get in the new Elantra N. On those door panels, I love the nice clean style. Now the material is hard plastic up top, but they make up for it with that beautiful microfiber suede material with those diagonal designs, gives it a classy look. Small on the door pocket, so maybe one toaster strudel and a bottle of Yoohoo, but you know what? We got the Bose sound system to give us those clean tunes. Going from the door panel to the dash, look at the way they integrate everything. Super clean with the AC vents, nice horizontal lines, and then this is really where the magic happens. Remember how your parents said, knock on the door because we might be making the magic? This is where the magic happens here in your Elantra N. We are in full N mode. This is your M performance gauges. Love the way you could get into every setting, G meter, automatic rev match downshifting, all the performance, all the different modes. Of course, there is backup camera and all that good stuff. Let me show you the backup camera. Little on the small side, but you know what? What I wanna look at is this. I could stare at this all day. Looks like Gran Turismo. I'll show you the different modes. You got sport, obviously eco, normal, and then back to sport, and we got full N mode. And you got N standard, or you could kind of personalize it exactly the way you want it. Start, stop button, conveniently place, radio controls. We got dual climate controls. That's nice to have, especially when your passenger might be sweating bullets because you're turning those fast laps. We got wireless charging, 12 volt and two USBs. And of course we got the handle for your pet. Now we understand why there's a handle on the Elantra. It's for this car. This is the oh crap handle. So your passenger could hold on tight while you're just turning those fast times at your favorite track for your track day. But this is it right here. For me, this is perfection. The N shift knob on this six speed manual. Love the light blue color. That is the color of the N branding. Nice short throws, crisp engagement. Love the beautiful shift boot with the light blue stitching. And another thing that Hyundai is very proud of is a good old fashioned mechanical e-brake. No electronic e-brakes. So you could really have full control. Key fob, of course, we're gonna have the M badging on it. Nice touch, flip it around with the buttons. Soft on the armrest, lift it up. We got plenty of room, at least eight Twinkies, and you're gonna need them because you're gonna be beating the competition. Give them one as you beat them, but this is really the Twinkie on top of the icing, on top of the cake, is this beautiful seat. The stitching, one piece backs, the N logo lights up to greet you every time. Great bolstering, especially the design holds you in. You have manual seats for the passenger, I got plenty of headroom in here. I'm six feet tall, and that's another reason why this is such a versatile vehicle. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind this and wrapped leather steering wheel in our Elantra. All right, guys, here we are, business time. How are you greeted? You're not only greeted to this nice, tasteful, nothing too gaudy end badge on this aluminum silk plate, but the great news is check out the foot box, the pedal box. We got the nice dead pedal clutch brake and throttle all in aluminum finish. Now you do have manual seat controls, but that's a lot of times how it goes with these race style seats. I mean, they feel like a Recaro race seat. Holding in nice and snug, but not too crazy like a vice grip. You're gonna feel like a race car bug in a wonderful race car rug and just be snug. See what I did there? Steering wheel, designed specifically by the N engineers, nice thickness that light blue stitching all the way around, and badge. If you're wondering, what does this mean, Joe? Rev, this is how you could turn on or off the automatic rev match downshifting. You got your end performance buttons, manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Check out the gauges, that 10.25 inch digital display with the tack in the center, really looks absolutely beautiful. Tells you all your settings. That's what I like to see. The one thing I don't like to see is this dead space here. Would have been nice for them to put some type of auxiliary gauge. Maybe there'll be an aftermarket company to take advantage of that. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how much room you have in the Elantra right, guys, back seat time. What's great about this vehicle is that you get to share the joy of going through the gearbox, feeling engaged with your passengers, and they got plenty of room back here. The bad news is no storage on the backs of the seats. 
and no connectivity. Wish they at least had a USB, but other than that, I'm six feet tall. I feel fantastic, but you know what? Let's get in that trunk and see how much room we have in the Elantra M. All right, guys, one thing that the engineers at Hyundai really wanted to make sure happen is that you could have your performance, but also have that versatility as well. So let's go ahead, let's pop the trunk and see what kind of junk we could fit in this Elantra end. Now, just like your standard Elantra, where's the button? I love the way they hide it super clean. Hit it, lift it up, and what you're gonna get is a nice width, super low on the cargo floor, and you'll notice right off the bat, the bright red finish on the rear bracing. Remember, this vehicle has been gone through to get everything from the chassis to the suspension to all the stiffening. And it's not just about stiffening up the front, but also the rear as well. The great news is you can still fold down the seats. Yeah, you're gonna have to kind of wiggle around to get around that bracing, but as a car enthusiast, opening up the trunk just puts a big smile on my face seeing that. And that's something that with the Type R, I feel like they hide some of that bracing and it's nice to be able to kind of show it off and really make your car unique because this is a car for enthusiasts. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our Elantra N. Here we go, guys. Ha, 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 ha. 
up to the chassis, the way it handles, all of that connectivity just really shows the work that they've done, that this car is all the business. It's not just a, a marketing tactic or some type of sales pitch. And I'm telling you, compared it to the Type R, it is nice to have the variety and ways to get the transmission, whether you want the six speed, the eight speed DCT. We're gonna get back on the road and do a little bit more on throttle just for you. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, we're in this Hyundai Elantra N, the first time ever. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> So what you're gonna feel right away is just that wonderful boost buildup and it really does a great job. You're not waiting for the boost to really come into play. From down low, it pulls all the way up to red line. The tack, especially in this end mode, having that ability to see so clear, it lights up, goes yellow, red, as you get close to that red line so you know where to upshift. These seats are phenomenal with a capital PH. They keep you in place, they're comfortable, and they look so super sexy. Visibility, just like other Elantras, the rear shelf comes up a little high, but other than that, everything else feels good. You're gonna get all the great safety sensing technology in this Elantra N, just like you find in your other models as well steering has a great feel now in end mode as you can see it's a little bouncy but you know what the engineers know that that's what the enthusiasts especially the people that are going to track this want to have that stiffer suspension to turn those faster laps at your track day at the autocross event and the great news is you can put it in different modes and soften it up very nicely. Let me sh let me uh, show you and let you hear that automatic rev match downshift. Nice, right on cue. Are you ready? I'm ready. Second gear, on throttle. Here we go. Nice. And the thing is, is that Hyundai is not in a war with everybody to get to some fancy horsepower number. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get that connected driver feeling. And you know here on Rady's Rides, that's what we are all about. And definitely one card that they can play that the Type R cannot is the availability of an eight-speed DCT. And this is a wet sump system. It's not a dry clutch, it's a wet clutch. And that allows you that extra performance if you don't want to row through your own gears. But some are saying zero to 60 in that eight speed DCT, 4.9 seconds in certain uh, cases, about 5.1, maybe five seconds flat with the manual if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes. But I like the way everything is arranged, easy to get to, and you're definitely getting that extra enthusiast experience. All right guys, time to get some twisty bits and really take a look at that electronic limited slip dip. But if you're ready, I'm ready. On oh, throw, here we go. Nice. I love this sound. Ooh, the pops, the bangs. This is what it's all about right here. Brakes feel good. Into this right hand bend. <laughs> yes. And I'm telling you, you're not waiting for the boost. I think that's the big difference between the Type R and this Elantra N is the Type R feels a little bit more higher strung, where this really, the torque delivery is right in that sweet spot that helps you get off the corners and you don't have to rev the heck out of it to have a good time. And here I am in third gear, you got the gear indicator right in the center. And one thing that this does very well over the Type R is the sound especially those pops and bangs. And then what's great is when the road gets a little straight and you want to kind of dial it back a little bit, it's super smooth. I mean, yeah, it gets a little bouncy, but those are things that you expect in a car that is track tuned, 
tune for the autocross, and of course, tune for everyday driving as well. And it's so nice for a person like myself who wants the hill toe downshift like I just did, I could do that and shut off the automatic rev match downshift feature if I don't want to use it. Or I just hit the rev button on the steering wheel like I just did, and it turns it right back on. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is what driving is all about, and this is why the people that engineers, the designers within N at Hyundai actually get it. They get it. They're from other parts of the auto industry, the racing industry, and that's another thing that I definitely have to commend is Hyundai for racing what they build. They race in the TCR series, they race in other series around the world, different vehicles, different cars, the 24 hours of the Nürburgring, the whole kit and caboodle. So they put their money where their mouth is. It's not just about a, fa a fancy advertisement or a picture, it's about that driving experience. Just the sound alone is worth the price of admission. Nice downshifts. All right, guys, I'm gonna be quiet and accelerate. On oh, throttle, here we go. Gets the power to the ground, a little bit of wheel hop, but you know what? Torque steer is not present. That limited slip diff does the business, but you know what? We need to get back to where it all started and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split right, second. guys, it's been one heck of a day here at Sears Point Raceway. Definitely got to take advantage of many different facets of not only what makes this track so amazing, but also looking at what this Elantra N brings to the table. Let me know what you think. Would you go Elantra N? Would you go Type R? Put it in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. Working it like a champ. Show Lori some love in that comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.